<laughs> Yet another victory for the hunter. Damn it. You totally ambushed me with that pair of queens. I have to admit, I didn't think you'd be such a formidable poker player. Yet another reason to respect you. It is just beginner's luck. I'm sure your next hand will vanquish me. There you go again, being all unexpectedly humble and generous. You're a hard demon to dislike, Hunter. Even if you are beating my butt at Hold'em. You do not dislike me, Captain? Don't get too excited. I didn't say I liked you either, but you've got potential. Deal another hand, then? I'm all in. Hunter, we have finished the symbiote sampling device. Come to the forge to have a look. Peter, what's wrong? Stark and Strange are deciding what to do about Eddie. Hey, can I ask a favor? Ah, oh, thanks, Hunter. Oh, hey there, Hunter. Don't mind me. No one else does. I have something for you. The latest Spider-Man fanfic by Sloth Baby. Sorry. Never mind. All good. I will see if I can find you a treat later. <laughs> so. Here you are, Hunter. One symbiote sampler. Hot off the old demonic presses. That is not what I expected. Yes, I for one am not going anywhere near that thing. You're a doctor. Don't tell me you're afraid of a little needle. That is most certainly not a needle. Well, you say tomato, I say one gamma-infused arc-powered laser tomato. Either way, we're good to go. Now we just have to get close enough to Venom to use it. How exactly would I use this thing? Works the same as any other needle. If your needle was hotter than molten lava and could pierce the sun, just stick the pointy end in him and let the device do the rest. Once we jab that thing, the symbiote will be extracted and stored within the chamber. The fluid inside should maintain the sample's molecular integrity indefinitely. I uh, based it on the saliva he left on you during that last round. I see. And does uh, Spider-Man, Peter, think it will actually work? I'm not sure. To be honest, I've kind of been keeping him out of the loop on this one. Look, Peter's a great kid. With a big heart. He looks at Venom, and he doesn't see the same mucus monster we do. All he sees is Eddie Brock. From what he's told me, the two of them weren't exactly best friends before the symbiote got thrown into the mix. But that doesn't matter to Peter. It's not going to be easy to get that sample. We'll have to get real close. I know Peter would give anything, including his own life, to save Eddie. Guess I just don't want to see him distracted when the time comes. Look what happened to me with Bruce. Venom is not Banner, Tony. And Peter is not you. Well, that's the point. I... I look at Peter and I see... Well, maybe the person I could have been if I didn't let money, fame, and my dad's war profiteering get the best of me. Maybe I just want to keep the kid... a kid... for as long as possible. Tony... End of the day, we gotta find Venom first before any of this matters. Given his symbiote is happily sliming its way across the five burrows, it's gonna be hard getting any kind of reading on him with conventional means, as in the non-demonically possessed kind. Thankfully, there's always Auntie Caretaker and her magic mirror. I'd check in with her. Talk to you soon, Hunter. How are you, Peter? You tell me, Hunter. I'm out of the loop on everything. They're off discussing what to do about Venom, and no one has said a word to me about it. Maybe they are trying to protect you, Peter. 
They see your youth and feel the need to shield you a bit. I've saved the city I don't know how many times. What do I have to do to prove myself? Grow a goatee like Strange? I do not think that is necessary. Good, because it would be way too itchy under the mask. I know it can be frustrating, but you should not waste time wallowing in it. I know, I should be doing something, because right now I feel kind of useless. Maybe I'll use the forge to bake a loaf of sourdough. Really get in Stark's way until he notices me. You should try it. See what happens. What? No way! I was only kidding! Maybe I was too. I want to get Stark's attention, but I also don't want him to think I'm an idiot. I have something for you. An RSVP to my birthday? Sorry. Never mind. No prop. I have something for you. Five snarky articles about why New York pizza is better than Chicago deep dish? Sorry, never mind. That's fine. I want to ask Bruce for help, and then I remember that, no, that's not an option anymore. We're missing something, Hunter. And the frustrating thing is it's happening right in front of us. Where? The Sanctum is filthy with Hydra. Too many of them. It wouldn't take many guards to secure the building. So the question is, what else are they doing in there? There is only one way to find out for sure. And to do that, we need to get inside. That's not going to happen until we get a sample from Venom. Our list of problems continues to grow longer. Well, we're not here for the easy stuff. I see Tony showed you his new toy. He did. He is so in love with his toys. I don't suppose he's given much thought as to who should get close enough to Venom to use it? If anyone understands Venom, it is Peter. He might be a good candidate for this mission. The ability to put ourselves in our enemy's shoes can tell us where they have been, and where they are going. Peter. Interesting. His innate humanity and unwavering empathy for Eddie Brock's plight could make him an ideal candidate. This won't be figured out right now, but we should decide something soon. Time is of the essence. But I suppose you know that better than anyone. We will talk again soon. There it is. The creature. And pretty much the entire Hydra offensive. No doubt stealing more of the priceless and did I mention extremely powerful artifacts housed within the sanctum? I don't think so. They're fortifying a position here. You're right. We're never gonna get close enough to get a symbiote sample. Oh, I wouldn't say never. Venom problem? No problem. Wow, you got some serious range on that old Spidey sense, kid. Or he got my text. Either way, I'm your guy. Come on, team. I got an idea. Anyone? Definitely should have practiced that more in the mirror. Sorry, kid. Can't risk a field trip on this one. Yeah, because you all have so much experience fighting Venom. Spider-Man's cunning has proven to far exceed his years. In battle, not the talking. Don't see any of us muscling in when the Mandarin's in town. <laughs> okay, fine. I get it. What's the plan? Uh, Spider-Man?
Listen, I'm not a control freak. If you have any good ideas on this mission, I'm all ears. My only idea is to not get killed. Wow, good one. We're totally in sync. Step through the portal. Given their history together, I suppose it does make sense to trust Spider-Man on this plan of his. What's the worst that could happen? Actually, don't answer that. Happy to oblige. Second adjustment to the plan. Ah, uh, yes. The plan. What is it? Right. Okay, stay low. Wait for my signal. The time wasted. Suppressing gamma energy versus harnessing it. Oh, when Mother sees what I have accomplished. What's up, Doc? Eat his brains. One time. Parker, report. Parker, status. Well, I am under a little pressure, but Eddie's right where I want it. Probably more like Plan 1.5. I'm betting those smaller bells vibrated a similar frequency to their big brother. May not be perfect, but they could buy me the time I need to get that sample. We have your sample right here, little spider. Yep, walked right into that one.
Progress, right? Just hit him with the bells, please. already. Hydrate! 
incoming. <laughs> I am not sure whether I should feel pity or disgust for this bizarre creature. Too weak for this fight. Spirit 
Do not die. You may want to add two or three more. Just saying. You dropped a church on him. I doubt he's going anywhere. Parker? Uh-oh. I have seen that look before. Congratulations. On a job well done. Aw, thanks everyone. I'll remember this moment forever. Which is probably how long it's gonna take me to pay the church's repair bill. Oh, not to worry. Thankfully, we have a billionaire in the house. Yeah, at least Stark's credit card is good for something. Oh, these kids. Real sweethearts. Good plan, Peter. Executed like a champ. Craziest plan I ever saw in my life. Still can't believe he pulled that off. Yes, and now we must make use of the sample he recovered. Um, we? All right, everyone. I know you all have a lot more important things to do than cheer little old me on. Let's go save the world. Oh. And if anyone happened to record any of this, feel free to send it my way. For training purposes, of course. From what I've seen, you could drop five churches on Venom and he'd still keep coming. I doubt we've seen the last of him. Just between you and me, I wasn't 100% sure that little plan would pay off out there. I mean, I was pretty sure, but I still had that little voice in the back of my head. If you screw this up, Venom's gonna be snacking on your skull! Even worse, I would've let you down, not to mention the others. I always knew you would succeed, Peter. Enjoyed the praise you received. Thanks. It's kinda nice to be the man of the hour. Even if it only lasts... Uh, an hour. Spent so long trying to keep Spider-Man and Peter Parker separate from each other, I never really had the chance to celebrate victories with... you know... Friends? Exactly. Thank you for that, Hunter. However you look at it, be glad we got the sample. 
Now we can get the dock home, keep you less explodey? All around, a good day. We all owe you a thanks. I was nothing. Besides, helping the boss man test his top secret prototype on a demonically possessed alien symbiote human hybrid has got to look good to the folks at Stark Industries. Would love to get a shot to work for Tony one day. Just wish Spider Man could submit a resume. But you are working with Tony, Peter. You are an integral member of the team. Whoa. Mind just. Peter? Nope. Mind's still blown. I just need to. Sit here and let it all sink in, Hunter. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Parker's plan was chaotic, but effective. I doubt even Lilith saw that one coming. I have something for you. I know. The Red Skull's bathing cap. Sorry. Never mind. You're cool. <laughs>